All right, gang, another flipponym distance learning animation assignment coming at you, doing a, a flower that is growing up out of the ground and blooming. And again, reminiscent of an assignment that we were working on in class, just doing a little more review of frame by frame animation and how to do it in a different software. Uh, disregard the name of this file, we'll go ahead and start fresh on a new one. So, as always, we are going to take the beta editor. We are going to start here by drawing our background. And so we want to take our pencil line and go ahead and take the green color, any green color. If you want any green color, we can go in here and we can choose something darker and draw a line, oops, pencil tool, let's make it a little bigger. I'll draw a line that goes across your stage. Now, sometimes it doesn't look like it actually picks up that color, and this was one of those instances, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of draw that line in there again. And then I can just fill the bottom half of this. Let's see if I click on some of these lines. Yeah, if I just keep clicking, it will fill that all in eventually. Nice. Um, so yeah, then for the rest of the background, we could do um, we could do kind of like these shades of green that we have done for assignments in the land, kind of getting lighter and lighter as it gets back in the distance. And then you would have um, maybe some shades of blues. Again, this just kind of adds to the space. Oops, I had a uh, oh there you go yeah. Paint bucket. Cool, so now we'll take a, uh, a different green. We'll be on the new layer. So this is kind of like our background. We're gonna be on the new layer. We'll take a kind of like a light green-ish color here. That looks pretty good. And we'll click out here and start drawing this up. So works very similarly to how we've been doing some of these animations as of late, where we're going to start with a little pencil line, a little too thick gonna step it down with the thickness. That looks pretty good. So frame one, set frame two, gonna draw up a little bit more. Set frame three, drawn up a little bit more. And set and frame four, drawn up a little bit more. And maybe we add a little leaf bud. Frame five, drawn up a little bit more. And this is going to be kind of like a giant sunflower type of thing. So that's why we're making it so tall. And maybe add another little leaf bud. Another one. Make this go up a little bit further. Another one. Maybe we make these leaves grow a little bit bigger. And a little pointy at the end. And add another. And maybe go up just a little bit further. Maybe just take this leaf and kind of try to round it out and make it pointy a little bit more. And now we're kind of ready to start the flower head somewhere around the ninth frame or so. So ninth, tenth frame, we're going to add the, um, the head of the flower as being kind of a brown color. I might leave this color here so you've seen it kind of changes your colors when you click and then click on the um, color picker. Remember to get a brown, we're gonna do for the center of a sunflower is a darker shade of orange, and then see it updates. So now I still have this green here, so if I wanna use it again, I have it right there. So ninth, 10th frame, we're gonna to start to do the center of the flower. Again, it kinda of did this thing to me where it didn't actually draw the color that I picked. So I'm just gonna reselect it and draw in the center of the flower, just kinda of like hovering almost just above the uh, stem. And then we'll add in another new frame. We're gonna want this yellow color here. So good thing I didn't change that one. And now I'm gonna start to draw these flower petals. So we'll start with one kind of coming out and then fill it in. And then I'll add another new frame. And then back to my pencil, kind of starting overlapping that brown color and then going outside and then coming back. So that way I'm sure that I have a closed shape if I start inside the brown and then kind of go outside and come back. 
and then just gonna fill these in. Oops, I think I forgot to create a frame on this last one. So gonna control Z, because I have the center, and then I have one, let's see what I got here, and then I got two, and then I need to add a new frame, and then draw the third. So just remember to add a new frame before you add a new flower petal. So I'm gonna fill it, and then hit add new. And then I'm gonna draw it, and I'm just gonna go all the way around, kind of in one direction here. And fill, add a new frame, pencil, and fill, new frame, pencil, and fill, pencil, new frame. Almost done. Two more to go. New frame, last one. And there we go. So <clears throat> let's give this a test play and see what we got. So there's my flower, budding, growing, blooming. And uh, one thing that we haven't, I don't think, used yet is change the speeds. So you can up the speed a little bit. I think the default is already kind of on the quicker side. Uh, we can obviously slow this down a lot. I don't know that this benefits from going slow, I think. Keeping it on the fastest speed is probably best. Looks a little bit better that way. So let's go ahead and save as we've been doing with these. Save it. Call it OK Bloomer. It's an OK Bloomer. Again, you can add, continue adding anything else you want to the, your animation scene. Um, you don't have to just stop where I am. If you want to keep going, you can keep going. Uh, if you want to make it public, make it public. If not, you don't have to. Confirm that you're not a bot, and upload it. And then when you're all set, make sure that you save to your Google Drive. And I will wait and do that one more time to make sure that you see it one more time. So there is my animation. I want to save it as a GIF. So I'm going to click on that link and then I'm going to click here. I could save this image to my computer. I could save it to my Google Drive. We want to save it to our Google Drives. Um, make sure it gets into your animation folder in your Google Drive and then you will be able to submit easily in Google Classroom. So hope you guys have lots of luck and fun being creative with your own projects here.